today is an amazingly sunny day and we are going up there and in the valley to walk along Levada which is according to photos really pretty The beginning is quite challenging. It's just we speed up this steep road from Ribera Brava. So we're not that far yet, but the road is really steep. There are always these steps in the middle of the road, which make it easier when it's really steep. And here you can see the, ste the steps inside because it gets really steep here. He's changing from this side to that side. My darling, there's more of it. Look at that, it's like never ending stairs. So first I thought we would continue on the road here, but there's more of those steps, stairs. That's a proper cardio today. First break, break down, or just break. Break down, melt down. We did 300 meters in elevation gain, just in one stretch. Just steep roads and stairs, and we have still 100 left. What's that? Maracuja, Maracuja. Maracuja. Somewhere those steps have to end, right? There are some seriously beautiful houses here in the hills. Not sure if that's a sign of where we go. Livada Nova Candelaria Lumbo Castero, nine kilometers. Four hours might be it. So there is now a sign to the Levada Nova. That looks like fresh. Young and fresh. Ah, this is this uh, little. That's this uh, villa which we saw from the other side. Pretty nice location and uh, good size. hidden away behind the Levada is this house you literally step over the Levada here Wow, 
What a beautiful spot. I, I did not expect that. That's just such a beautiful, I don't know, it's, it's, it's next to this valley mm -hmm. and there's just such a beautiful view yes. and all this, uh, how you call them? Cactus? Cacti. Cacti. Many of them. You will show Many them. of them. It's just amazing. And we have gorgeous weather, sunshine, and everything is so nice green. Yeah. And, it's and like it feels like it's all fresh. Yeah. It's just so beautiful and peaceful. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's amazing. Welcome to Livada Nova in Ribera Brava. Livada Nova? That's actually a nice thumbnail. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We love tunnels. No, I left them at home. Do you need light? You love dark tunnels, don't you? So it's quite wet to get there. Is that the... Hello! If you watch our videos, then you know that Lausa loves dark tunnels. But that's a short one, you can see the end. That's no fun. Alright, let's go. Don't need lights for that. No, you can see the end. As long as we see the light on the other side of the tunnel there looks go. like there is something okay. okay okay that's not bad we can do that i can do this You can add another tunnel to your list of tunnels. <laughs> I can do that. So what do you want to say about this tunnel? Let me interview Lauza, <laughs> the tunnel specialist. She loves tunnels. So what do you, did you think about this tunnel? The opposite of loving tunnels. But I'm getting better already at it. As long as there is a bit of light in the end of the tunnel, it's okay. And now we have a flashing light all the time with us. And yeah, I'm getting stronger. A tunnel <laughs> pro. Getting a tunnel pro. I love you. <laughs> so this is beautiful. Are there any levadas on this island that aren't beautiful? I think levada by definition have to be beautiful, right? We're just learning about... Play that thing. Cacti. 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 Because we don't really use word cacti and we have not had experience that much of, with cacti. We're talking about Cactans. those guys here? So they are cactus everywhere. Cactus is one and cacti is many. Cactus is in German, also cactus. What's in Russian? Cactus. Cactus. So, an easy one. Cactus, cactus. Cactus. So, the one cactus. Many cactus. Cacti. In Russian. 
In Russian. Cactus. Cactusy. 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 Anyway. So I remember when we went to Porto do Sol. Yeah. Ponto do Sol. Soro. Ponto Soro. Do Sol. <laughs> Soro. <laughs> Soro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ponto do Sol, which is just around the corner. There we also saw beautiful cacti. Yeah. Cacti. Cacti. Anyway, what's, what's just in wanted to say that there's many. Cactus, one, ein cactus, many, uh, viele cactus, cactuses. I don't know. I it's my language, know. I don't know. <laughs> Help me out here. So now we actually reached the end of the Levada walk in the valley and we're turning around now and going back. I'm getting hungry and we should find some nice spot and have our lunch. I'm ready to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're just checking uh, if we are at the right... This is old trails. Old trails. We still use that. I know some people recommended us the Walk Me and the other apps. But somehow habit sticks and we are always falling back to that one. So we found our lunch spot. How cool so is that? Cool. It's like this little house next to a waterfall, little river. So we will have our gluten free lunch <laughs> that was a nice lunch oh, yeah. wasn't it sunshine is out it's really nice yeah that was a really nice spot everything is so super fresh and green and, oh, and smells so nice and it's warm. I expected it to be much cooler. We have finally our shorts back on. So, yeah, what's there? Ah, sheep. 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 They must feel quite warm. So yeah, we decided today spontaneously to do that Levada walk. It's during the week and normally I would work now but I'm in this last sprint to the release of my product and I was working all weekend and today in the morning when we did our morning run that's very overexposed down here I just uh, felt like today going for a hike going to the nature and using that to recharge myself in some way because always working is also draining so it's a beautiful weather today so kind of offered itself as an opportunity today to just walk up here to Ripera Brava to the Levada and check out what that is all about 
And I have to say, it's really beautiful. Levada Nova. It's Levada Nova. There are so many Levada Novas, I have no idea what's the... I think the... We, are, we are following Levada Nova. Are we? Yeah. Okay. So it's basically the valley next to Ribera Brava. So I thought that's called... Uh, yeah, anyway. Whatever it's called, it's beautiful. And it was spontaneous. And I really like it. I love it. And this is our first hike of this, for this year. Uh, yeah, it is actually. Mm -hmm. It's the first time this season that we're out. And I did not expect that to happen that quick. Because when we went up, when we had a car last time and we went up to the, to the mountains, it was really cold. And then we had all this bad weather, the storm and the rain. And I expected that to take a little while until we can get back out. But here we are. It's close to the end of January. And it's sunny, it's warm, I don't know. Feels like, what do you think, 22, 21? degrees Celsius oh, definitely 21. yeah something around that 22. and even when the when there were clouds it, it was a little bit cooler but it was not really cold so it was still comfortable and now it's obviously perfect with the Sun yeah so what else do we have to share that's a nice uh, platform here, oh, here the platform. look at that mountain over there it's so beautiful and there's this blue sky and I, I mentioned this probably a couple of times already but I love that blue behind the green it just it gives such a beautiful contrast and it's so crisp and it makes me feel good I love blue sky <laughs> I think we both do right yes we do so what else do we have it's the it's the third day of our morning exercise and gluten-free challenge which we set for this month so we want to do this for 30 days uh, so far we feel good yes it was doable it is doable actually <laughs> actually we recognize that she's saying actually a lot and the word like you say I'm like saying it. like and um um okay we are learning to avoid those yeah. words we want to talk more on camera and you guys gave us the thumbs up you said that's okay talk as much as you want <laughs> so here we are talking as much as we want <laughs> just to get better at it yes. and maybe at some point we will be able to tell a real story from the beginning to the end without stumbling around yeah. for now we're just sharing Brief updates of what we're doing, where we go, how we experience our hikes here in Madeira and a little bit about our challenge, lifestyle change, living healthier, stress-free. Oh yeah, stress-free. Yes. Yeah. yeah, which is part of my, my kind of thing today to go for a hike on a working day. That was unexpected. You were surprised, right? Yes. Because I have this tight schedule for these two, three weeks until mid-February to release my product. And I did not expect myself to just not work on a... What, what day is today, actually? Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Not work on a Wednesday. But why not? We worked on Sunday. So. We worked all weekend and we might work next weekend, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. So And in between, I think it's just good to get out if you can obviously and we have this beautiful nature around us here so yeah happy we did so another thing that i wanted to talk about which I forgot to mention before is how going out to nature actually helps me to solve some of my complex issues at work so I don't know if you know but I'm, I'm a software developer 
I am working on my own product and I want to launch that in February. It's for it's a platform for architects uh, to create uh, 3D content, so 3D models for their building design. And yeah, there are lots of uh, complex uh, cases that I have to figure out. And these days, where I just take time to spend. Yeah, to spend time in nature, I guess, to just go out for a hike or just take a break from work, literally, is really helping me to, to deal with things that otherwise often take days to, to figure out. And I, I'm often not even able to figure them out because I'm kind of digging a, a hole and it gets overwhelming and stressful. And so this going out and taking a break and like distancing myself from work for a day or a couple of hours is really helpful to to clear my my mind clear my head uh, get I get also a lot of ideas you know that's that's like you go to sh to to the shower right and there are lots of ideas when you take shower I also have lots of ideas when I hike so that's kind of one of the things that I'm reminding myself when I take these days during the week which normally make feel me guilty that I do that while I'm supposed to work supposed to focus on getting my product ready but the reality is if I don't do that it's actually taking me longer it's more stressful and yeah well, that's just another another thing I I find uh, more and more I think uh, also the the moving more the exercising so I'm not a big fan of doing exercise and, and sports I'm generally like in the morning getting up and get as quickly as possible to my desk and start working but now since we started this new routine um, I start the day with a morning run along the promenade along the beach and listen to some podcast or some nice music or just to the waves breaking and it's really liberating it's energizing i feel like after that i have so much more energy to start my day and i know lauser told me this many times and it's probably common knowledge that exercise is good for you but i'm one of these stubborn guys who need to experience that firsthand Otherwise, you know, knowing doesn't always help. You need to actually see the benefit for yourself. And then it's much easier to, to implement that in your daily habits or routines or whatever. Yeah, so that's just me rumbling along here in the beautiful nature. Talking about my learnings, how I deal with stress how I solve complex issues and how I enjoy that beautiful nature here on Madeira. When we just started our hike in the very beginning, I, I regretted to go, to be honest. That was so exhausting. It was very tiring and it felt like it was never ending. I don't know how long we hiked up. It was just hiking up. Like this? Yes. And I thought, Michael, I don't think this was a good idea. I didn't want... I, I think a little bit more and I would probably go home. Happy and you, now happy we didn't. I am very happy we stayed on the path. It's really beautiful here and oh, it's, it's definitely worth it. I feel me. like I feel like that was a reference to real life now. Okay, what's the reference? You no, know the uphill battle, you know, and you wanna turn around or stop when it's because hard because it's just getting harder and harder and harder. But often there is just a little bit more, and then it gets flatter. It gets easier. It's it easier. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's what we. 
we face with everything we do, right? There's yeah. always in the beginning some some challenge to overcome. So and we need to overcome it. We need to continue, not giving up. Levada is teaching us lesson. Yes. Just keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then it will revo reward you with a amazing, beautiful scenery, nature. Or whatever you're after, if you apply it to life. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's it's nice. It's very good. I mean, many Levadas, all Levadas we visited, they were all great. And they're all beautiful in their own way. There hasn't, yeah. hasn't been a single one that was kind of disappointing. Yeah. And this is really not far from us, where we don't need actually to rent a car. And that was really useful, I mean, very convenient, actually. Actually. Yes. And I guess getting back to this nature, which we did a lot last year. We did uh, many hikes last year. And it just reminds us it's so good. And we're so happy that we are here. We are very grateful that we are here on the island at this time. Yeah. So unfortunately there are clouds now, but this view from here must be stunning when there is a clear sunny day. You have to see. So we are reaching okay. the end of the Levada. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the actual end of the Levada or just for us the end of the Levada walk. Our trail. Yeah, our trail. And, and we're gonna go down the road and I'm actually interested how this will look like because when we were going up to this trail it was really hard. Hopefully going down will be easier than going up, which is naturally easier, but... Generally I don't like it, it's hard on my knees. It's, yeah, it can be more difficult on the knees, so I'm very curious how it's gonna look like. Levada Nova. That's where we came from, right? Yes. You can basically go to Levada Nova from here and end up on the other side. On the other side. Yeah, so this is now the beginning of the road back down, which feels very uncomfortable to walk. I just don't know, there is something about walking downhill, probably not very healthy on the on the joints, but we have a lot of that now in front of us. Ferienhäuser zu vermieten. That's in German. Casa Tipica. So it means uh, holiday homes to rent. Really? Uh huh. Where? Is that the house? So if you wanna rent a holiday house here, you can call Leo, apparently. Where is it? Looks like a little oasis. Sure, there's a pretty amazing view from up here. Gorgeous. It's and the every he everywhere here is decoration. And then look at all those paradise flowers. Paradise flowers, they are amazing.
Right, we're continuing the walk down. Painful, but necessary. Very interesting houses. So there are those modern houses. And then just next to it, you have those abundant ones. Or maybe they are just functional for the banana plant. How do you say? Plantage? Plantage? You can barely see it from here, but that's the bay, the beach from Ribeira Brava, where we were heading off in the morning. So that's where we have to go back to. We're walking down that way because it's easier on the knees. Yeah, doesn't hurt that much. Don't judge us, please. But because the road is clear, so we can do that, otherwise... It's yeah, dangerous. we'll see if we bump into something. to the sea level that the was up, quite incredibly difficult all the levada incredibly beautiful the down incredibly painful mm. my knees hurt my legs hurt i'm done for today <laughs> i hope you enjoyed yeah. this day out in the nature thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up let us know in the comment. Subscribe if you haven't yet. It would really mean a lot to us. That makes a huge difference. And yeah, See share the video with others. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Actually. And I guess we we just see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a serious announcement to do. <laughs> we just realized that it's getting late. And you know, we are from the UK, so we need our afternoon tea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we have to hurry home now to get our afternoon tea. I get obviously my coffee and we want to have some almond butter. You know, the one that uh, I make myself. So yeah. I have my tea. My tea time. Tea time, yeah. So just for, to let you know, in case there's not much coming after that, that's, that's why. End of the announcement.